What's up guys, it's Ryan and Quick Boost, and today we're changing batteries on a Zephyr Lock. In order to change batteries and reset your locks, there's a few things we're gonna need. Let's take a look at what they are. A small Phillips screwdriver, a couple of AA batteries, a paper clip, and a lock that's a little under the weather. Man, that guy needs some medicine. Before we get started, I want to point out that you do not need to remove the locks from the lockers. Everything I'm doing today can be performed with the lock in the door. To change the batteries in our lock, we first need to remove the battery door. Remove the single screw with the Phillips screwdriver. Put the little screw in a safe place because he likes to run away. Hey, get back here. Now, open the battery compartment and remove the old batteries. It's always a good idea to recycle old batteries. Place your new batteries in the battery compartment, making sure to line up the positive symbol on the battery with the positive symbol on the battery compartment. With the battery door off, I like to take this opportunity to reset the lock. Insert the paper clip into the reset hole and press and hold the button. The two loud beeps let me know that the lock has been reset to factory default. With that done, it's time to reinstall the battery door and install the small screw that we removed before. Hmm, he sounds like he's feeling better. Now that our lock's restored, we need to make sure to program our six digit manager's access code. For more on that, refer to your locker setup instructions or check out one of our awesome locker setup videos. That's about it. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching. Ryan, the bachelor's on in 10 minutes. Sweet. I'm a single lady. I'm a single lady.